Hi, it's Faylene. It is the weekend and I've had a very hectic work week and personal week. So I'm drinking once again. If you want to see what I'm drinking tonight, stay tuned and watch my video. I'm actually going to share with you a wine that I have not tried yet that actually speaks back to you. The wine bottle talks. It's so cool. Stay tuned and watch my video. Hi, it's Faylene. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel on YouTube, please consider subscribing below. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I try to bring you weekly uh, wine tips, suggestion, travel ideas, but this is actually my weekend wine series is what you're watching. And I talk about wine that I'm drinking and sometimes I include some of my personal kind of moments in the week as to why I'm drinking the wine. There's usually a good reason why. So tonight I'm actually drinking an augmented reality wine. And you're like, what is that? It's the coolest thing. I've not tried it. I don't know where I've been because I think it's been out for a couple of years. It's called 19 Crimes. So this is the wine here. It's a white, this is a Chardonnay, it's called Hard Chard, and they also have a red blend. And they have a Shiraz and a Cabernet. Yes, I have both. It's very inexpensive. It was like 10 or $12. I was like, well, let me get one of each. Especially once the lady in the store told me all about this wine. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So it's augmented reality. Let me talk to you about the 19 crimes first. So first of all, oh my God, he's in my video. <laughs> like he's telling okay, me first of all, about the wine. Video. First of all, about the wine. I'm gonna get There's in this trouble really cool app. For having this is really cool. My son in the video. So <laughs> will you will you actually step out of my video so I can tell my viewers all about this one and you're not supposed to listen to the one. I'm going to cut it out. No. Okay, give me a kiss. See you later. Bye, Chandler. <laughs> oh my gosh, my life. That's my life. This is, this is a real view of my life, okay? So, I'm talking about the 19 crimes. So, in Britain, back in the 18th, 17th century, if anybody actually committed any of these nine is one out of 19 crimes they used to be sentenced to death but then they changed it and then it used to be if you committed one of the crimes you got sent to australia at, on this boat and i don't know if half the people but a lot of the people died in, in, on the transportation to the boat in, on the boat while they were trying to get to australia i'm sure it was not an ideal trip it wasn't something leisurely i mean you were still considered a prisoner and then once you got to australia you, you kind of had to fend for yourself and just make your new life so the wine is all around the crimes <laughs> i know it sounds crazy but it's it's kind of cool if you think about it so each of the pictures of the people on the wine bottle they actually will tell you about their story like why they actually got um, convicted for the particular crime and I'm gonna try to show you what the experience is like on this video so bear with me let me see if technology will play nice tonight and let me uh, show you how this works so first you have to actually download the app it's called 19 crimes Android Android and iOS Apple apps all work so let me get ready for that so once you have the app you literally, all you have to do is scan the wine bottle and the app together, and then the wine bottle starts talking and sharing the story about the person on the bottle. So this is the app, and you probably can't see it that good, but uh oh, um, it went away. I don't know. But anyway, it tells you about the 19 crimes, and you know how these people were transported by punishment in 1783 so let's get into the cool factor so i'm gonna try the hard shard first the chardonnay the white 
and there's this woman Jane that is on the bottle and so I'm literally holding the bottle and I'm holding the app for the sake of my children I begged for mercy but the judge showed me none I was sentenced to seven years transported for stealing bacon banished from my home Someday, sometime, our eyes shall see the faces kept in memory. Someday their hands shall clasp our hand. Just over in the morning land. I've lived through toil and hardship. Punishment for leading a gang of thieves. Years at the labor factory, but I've paid my price and I've gained grit and a new life. And then it has that big dramatic white flash, which is like indication the end of her story. So it, I don't know if you can hear it on, the, on my iPad really loud, but um, this lady, Jane, her crime was she committed, um, she stole bacon. And I don't know if she did any other crimes, but of the 19 crimes, the one that I scanned that I thought was really <laughs> peculiar, there was a crime on there that if you impersonated an Egyptian, you would be one of those 19, uh, you know, crimes that were listed. You're going to get banished out the country. I impersonating an Egyptian? That's really weird. But anyway, it's cute. Um, so that's the white wine and I'm going to taste it. But first I want to show you the red wine and I went with the red wine blend and this guy here, he's an actual poet is what I think he's saying when you put the, um, the app to the, the wine bottle. Um, and I think he falls in love with someone or he misses someone, but take a listen and see if you can hear. All right. The spirit of a rogue sustains when the bars of man impede. For no cage can hold that which is boundless. No man stop that which is fated to be. And if you move it around too much, it won't I keep was reading. I to Australia for crimes against the crown. They believed my story was over, but it was merely the beginning. Convicted of crime 18, spurred the hangman's noose, banished to Australia. I found true love in the most unlikely of places. That's the end of his story. So I guess he found true love in Australia. Anyway, let's get into seeing what this tastes like. So this is a red blend and I've already decanted it. You need to watch my other video to understand what that means. So I've already let this breathe because this was an inexpensive bottle. I'm not sure how good it's gonna taste. So I was like, let me just make sure I decan it. So let's try it and see what it tastes like. And this is the red. Ah, the color, the legs on it are eh. Okay, cheers. That's not bad. For $9.99 with the cute little story and you hold the app up to the phone, not bad. I can see why this is a very popular seller. It's a red blend. It hasn't, it's not real, real heavy with the alcohol. I think it's a nice table wine that you can just drink. Probably the whole bottle <laughs> if you're stressed out enough. The one thing I find is with the reds, the lighter it is, the more of a blend, you can have more glasses. For some reason, the alcohol is more potent in the heavier reds and the bolder reds naturally because it has more alcohol. So this is not bad. Hmm, I'm gonna try this again. So let me try the white since I opened them both. Now it doesn't mean I'm gonna drink both, but I wanna try it. So again, this is the Chardonnay, and it's called Hard Chard. I don't know if that means there's a lot of oak in it. So this is the white. Let's try this. Mm. 
definitely missing something like a bite uh, I don't think this is one I'm gonna keep drinking the Chardonnay I don't really care for it that much it definitely tastes like it's ten dollars worth of Chardonnay yeah not bad so anyway <laughs> I hope you guys have learned something new about a wine that's called 19 Crimes. I want you guys to try to look for it in the grocery store. Um, Kroger has them, Publix. I guess this is becoming very, very popular. And this is such a cute little idea. If you have like friends over and you're drinking wine, um, to whip the app out and, you know, to hold your phone up to it and have everyone listen to the stories and look it up. I think there's one more red where it has the augmented reality behind it. It might be the Shiraz or the Cabernet. I think there's only three that they have. Um, and this is the Chardonnay again. It's called 19 Crimes. And this is what I'm drinking tonight. <laughs> Maybe not both, but I'll probably stick with the red since that's the one I enjoyed more than the white and give it a shot and then try to deal with the rest of my weekend the best that I can and all that I have to do with my kids. Thank you all for watching my video. Like I said, if you haven't um, subscribed, there he is now. He hasn't gone anywhere. He's been here the whole time. Subscribe to my videos if you want to see some Chandler. Every now and then, you probably will see Chandler. So, <laughs> until my next video, thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Have a good Thanksgiving. Good Thanksgiving. Bye.